Okay, thank you for joining us here on the first day of the Bowls is Bowls European Open. A England v Ireland clash here. Michael Tandy, known as Spindle to most in the short mat world. Partner in Chris Willies, and up against James Shaw and Ian Hobson. Ten ends, straight in here. James and Ian playing with the red and white shirts. Great to be back at an event. This is the player's first first match for these players here. Let us know where you're watching from. And we'll be trying to bring you as much action as we can this weekend. This is the group stage. Players will be playing five matches today in the group and the last two matches tomorrow. And we're into the knockouts in the afternoon. Currently Ian and James holding one. Ian playing first here for the skips. A very consistent player Ian, been very impressive him. And that's a good bolt. It's in the count. Plenty of room for Chris though. No uh, stranger to pressure in the big matches, Chris. Multiple World Council champion. That's good here. No, very good. And great to see that we've got people watching from as far as Malaysia. Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoy this live stream. Hi right, Glenn, thank you for joining us from Australia. Hi right, Mike, thank you for joining us from Wales. Good bowl again here from Chris, doesn't want to is he in the count? He's just about, no, I've just got in. Looks like it from here. Give him a give him a shout. There is someone up there. Just going to look for a call for a measure on this one. M. M. So we're just waiting for measure here. Whether it's one or two. We've even got James Trot coming to measure for us. Hey Graham, thank you for joining us. I say ten ends to be played in these matches. This is the first end just been completed here. It's so far it's one's been taken out to Chris and Spindle. Just waiting for confirmation if it's one or two. Say all of the teams here are drawn into groups of eight, so there's plenty of matches in the group stages. All of the updates for the scores is available on our website, shortmapplayerstour.com. 
try and bring you as many matches as we can this weekend. Hiya Pauline, thank you for watching. Okay, we've got a few people from Australia watching, thank you very much. I have asked this question in the past, but I don't think there's much short mats that goes on down in the Southern Hemisphere, down in Australia, but please correct me if I'm wrong. It's a country we'd love to see more short mat being played. It's obviously a very big bowls nation. Players are using the same bowls that you would be using on the outdoor and indoor So it's just the one that, that first end to Chris and Spindle. There's a short here. Hi Louise, thank you for joining us. Hi Lynn, not don't get many people watching from France. So. Hi Lee, yeah, so we're playing uh, at the Falcon Indoor Bowling Club and we put the short mats down on top of the indoor surface here. So these are pretty quick mats that you put them down on top of the indoor. It just slows them down a little bit, but it's quite a nice pace for, for players here. Probably be like a medium pace speed that players would be used to. So Ian about to deliver here. So on a very good line. Just a bit over the weight. Hi Peter, yeah, we have got a few of the Falcon short map players taking part this weekend. None of the uh, sort of indoor bowlers here, I think because it's uh, still outdoor season. That drops, that'll be the shot. Yep, that's the shot. So Ian's just going to adjust. Just needs to get around that front bowl. Not quite got enough. That might have pushed that up enough for two as well. It's definitely one. One shot to Chris. So two nil to Chris and Spindle after two ends. So say this is the player's first match of the day. Hi Tony, thanks for your message. Yeah, we're trying this weekend to just try and limit the amount of people in the in the building, as you can understand. But we will be trying to bring you as many matches as we can so you can watch it from the comfort of your own home. Hi Terry, I hope you and Shannon are keeping well. Good luck with the op. I just want just to move, yeah, that's not too bad, it's good weight. James trying to match the shot bowl here. So we're currently in uh, this event has been taking place in Falcon Indoor Bowling Club it's in Chelmsford, Essex about 40 miles outside London our first event back for 18 months so we are a bit rusty on the uh, on the stream here, so please bear with us. Yeah, good. Very good bowling there from Chris. I will try and find out actually where Chris gets his bowls done. I know they're the old, the old Atirolite style bowls. With a nice, nice bias on them. You get some, I think they're dips actually, to get that colour on them. That's the one thing about short mat, you can use any bowls as long as they're 
conform to world bowls or even crown green bowls have been used. So holding the good two here, just got to be a little bit careful, don't want to make a target for Ian. Ian's got no back bowls. Yeah, we're really pleased to be back putting an event on. We're really sorry that we're not able to put more events on just yet. We're just trying to fit, find our feet a little bit. Obviously, Simon, who is one of our directors, is in Cyprus and is not able to get over this weekend. So it's just Stephen and myself with uh, Emma on the desk. Chris is just trying to get in here for another. He sits flush onto that, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's in the count, it just leaves a draw really. Uh, Jordan, the skips are Ian Hobson and Chris Willies. Um, just see Ian join down here, he's just over the pace I think. Yeah, probably is three shots still. Yeah, it is. So, take a bigger lead now, 5-0 after three ends. And we can see the other matches in play here. We've got 16 mats down this weekend, plus the show mat, which we'll be bringing matches from tomorrow. We'd better start coming this way than the last end. That's better. Thanks, Jordan. Hope you're able to get that bowl in as well soon. It's been a very strange 18 months for everybody. I'm just glad to be back. here from James. Good thing here is he has got back bowl. So I still don't think Chris will be short to this. I still think he'll be aggressive as usual. Yeah, Chris setting himself. Yeah, I thought Chris would be aggressive to this. He's good here. Oof, don't know if the back bowl. Uh, thanks, Tommy. Hope you keep him well. It's still Ian and, and James holding here, and they've added another. Uh, we've got two here. Just, just, split, just seeing if. Uh, a lot of weight needed here. He's got to just miss the front bolt and he wants to split onto the jack and bolt. Jack into the far corner. It's a lot of weight. So he's just going to get underneath. He's close. Oh, very good. Yeah. Didn't quite get the jack in the corner, but there's no touches there for. Ian and James, so that'll be one shot to Chris and Spindle, so one shot. So four ends in, 6-0 currently. to see a change of tactic here from Ian and James. We're not quite halfway through the game, but we see they've gone aggressive early. Oh. Right. Just keep drawing away. Anything past is good. Yep, good start here. 
No, no, no. Probably go. No, I'm gonna go out to the draw. Better here. It's a bit of the jack. Yeah, got it. Well, I think Chris will be aggressive to this again because he's got he's got the back position. Yeah, done again. All tight this time. Uh, opportunity now for Ian. We want to make sure. Yeah, he wants to make sure he's back where James is indicating there behind. Behind the jack, covering any movement of that jack back. Going to get past here. It's in the count. No, it's good though. It's behind. It's a toucher as well. See what does Chris play here? Mm. Chris just asking if the jack goes off the map, which it doesn't. So it is. Inside of mine, try and get to this. You wick off mine, you've got a bit of a snap. Just trying to get in here, maybe just drop the one if they can. Just not going to drop back. Yeah. Draw for three here. Gets them back into the match. Good road. Might be a bit quick. Oh. Just a two. So six two. After five ends. The English pair currently six two in front. Change of length as well. Gone for a shorter length jack here. Just trying to change the game. We're halfway through this match. Yeah, good start. Yeah, very good start. Yeah, say it pretty much all the time, but touches are so important in this game. Times you need a toucher on the mat. Yeah, just trying to drop past now. Yeah, that's fine. Spot the shot. to move this close yeah good hit good hit for me and very smooth delivery yeah, just saying they're not Laying too much weight at this, just over the over the draw. And Chris is a left-handed, so it's on his backhand here. And it's just over the weight. So he's got the jack here. Well, wow. gives him an opportunity with the last bowl. A toucher sitting behind. And there's also another bowl there as well, which is there. So got to be a bit careful here. See what Ian does here. There's a couple of options open to him, but he's got to make sure he doesn't leave an easy opportunity for Chris. So he's playing a big draw here. Yeah. He needs to try and change something. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's made the angle a little bit more difficult for Chris, but the two bowls could still go here. The inside one you should be saving, don't miss it wide. 
Right, just looking to make contact with either of those two black balls. So it is on Chris's backhand here. Nice and positive. So no change, two shots. 6-4 now. Good response from Ian and James to go in 6 nil down. So there we go, 6-4. James away on this end. Better start. Yeah, very good. Right. Spindle will be trying to get past this. Good again here from James, just needs to run this out. Yeah, that's the best end so far from James. Very good. Oh, good effort. So important in pairs, the lead. Given the skip options. You can see there James putting two fairly close, put a bit of pressure on. Ian's just going to try and draw himself. It looks a little bit quick to me. He is. Yeah, a bit quick, that's in the ditch. It's just that touch at the moment that some of the players, which is understandable, have not quite got that touch yet. Obviously that just comes with playing competitive matches, which we haven't done for the last 18 months. Our last event was here February last year. Right, Chris is going to positive to this. Any touch? Yeah, good hit. Pressure goes straight back to Ian now. Yeah, I'm going to be positive here. They've got the bowl on the far side there. Putting his foot, so the player's using the full area that they can. He's in the area here. Yeah, very good. Whoa, he just held on there as well. <laughs> well it could be free. It is free. So, so just saying there, he's got to draw the winning bowls. Plenty of room. It's just an awkward position where the jack is. Uh, where are we with this one? It's good. It's all on the pace. Oh, that's a great ball. Yeah, great ball. Very, very good. So, 7 4 now. After seven ends. So, Ian and James are in a position there to go in front before that bowl. Big pressure bowl there. Flirting with the edge of the mat. Good pace. So 7 4 to the English pair so far in this match. So whoever does lose this match, it's not the certainly not the end of the tournament for them. There's six more matches that they've got each. Uh, top four in the, each group go through, so plenty of opportunity for either of these pairs to bounce back. Of course, anything can happen. Oh, very good again from James. Yeah, it's two good ends in a row now. Just starting to put a bit more pressure. If it, was, if it wasn't for a great bowl from Chris there, it would have been 7-6 the other way, but 7-4 to the English pair currently. 
big car required again here from Chris. Chris has been in and around the international scene now for many years. Found a lot of weights close to something here. He well, has cleared it. Not the result he was looking for, but he has cleared it. So. Ian's just going to try and tidy this up a little bit. He tucks a jack round, that'll be the perfect result for him. Close here, he likes it. Oh, he had very good pace for it. He didn't quite get back to the jack, so leaves the door open for Chris again. He's playing on his backhand. Jack back is the perfect result. Is it going to hold to it? It's close. No, that's good. It's cut it down. Cut it down to one. He enjoying. Just needs to stop. And it's not. So he's just missed a few of those. Those. Uh, I think Chris would have taken one down. The way that was looking when he went up. Seven five to the English pair. With a loose start from both of the leads so far. James has had two very good ends back to back. Better reply here. Yeah, that's good. There we go, just Switch into the forehand. No, that's in a good spot. And one to the Irish pair currently on the mat. Playing with the black bowls. A two down on the scoreboard. Big end this. They need to win this end really to give them a good chance on the last end. Ian's out on a good line. Has his weight. Just over. Just been off a little bit with his weight on the draw, Ian is. It's been a bit quick. Just leaving it down to Chris here as to what hand he plays. And drawable on both hands. Yeah, playing his backhand. Here's the more open side. out on a good line. That's the weight. It's a bit quick. Right. What Ian doesn't want to do here is leave something, a target for Chris to, to play to. At the moment this is a dead draw. I would favour dropping onto the back blue bowl. Bowl down here, that would be the, my preference. I think Ian's sticking to his forehand. Again, okay, he's out on a good line. What's his weight like? Still looks quick to me. It'll be interesting, whilst all these mats are the same, you do get slight variations in the speed. Where they are on the indoor rink as well can make a difference. So again, he's out on a good line. How's his weight? Just looks good quick again. Probably not. Yep, so. There we go, it's going to be 7-6 going into the last end, so that's 7-6 to Chris. 7-6 to the English pair, going into the last end.
Yeah, fair start. And it's been a good fight back from Ian and James here. They were a 6 0 down. Get themselves within one on the last end. Good, good comeback. Good here from James. Oh, didn't quite get the result he was looking for. Uh, that's good bowling. Would have liked to, to have fallen over. And I think Ian's going to be dropping down the same hand. Trying to get onto that last bowl. Yeah, it gets all in that pace. It's just over. Yeah, just over the pace. He's played some really good lines on, on this match, but just just been over that pace. Missed out on a few draws in to add to the count. So this looks good. Oh, and the weight again. Drops back now. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. So this is one where they would need to, you need to be dead weight, drop onto that to drop back. Let's see what Ian's going to play here. I think he's looking at the other hand as well. Start questioning yourself when you've missed a few draws, especially you know, you know how good Ian is. Are you sticking to this hand? No. All on that way again. Again, he was over the weight there, and he was looking for a little edge off of his own bowl. Uh, it will be the English pair here who will take the win. Chris will want to draw in for another. Shot difference could come into it for places. Let's see, Chris is out again on a nice wide. Be too wide actually, yeah. So I think that's could be three shots. Yeah, so 10 6 final score to the English pair. Thank you for joining us for that first game. We'll be back again a bit later on, bringing you some more coverage from the Bowls Bowls European Open. Thank you for joining us and catch you again very shortly.